Hi everybody. Guess what time it is? It's time for talking, turning and what's this here? Oh, tea. Great, well, hi everybody. Uh, it's great to have you back for a talking, turning and tea. And I thought I'd get started by showing you a couple of pieces that I've made recently. Now, uh, I'll start off here uh, with a wild you getting that? A wild mango bowl. Now this is the piece that I did in the morning of my first demo at Axminster. So I just started off with a small bowl. It went really well. I love the feel. It's got a slightly curved lip to it, which I love doing. It feels really nice in the hand when you're holding the rim. Uh, what's this here? Right, this is an elm candlestick. Help you get in that. Uh, very simple bit of spindle turning, but Nicola picked that elm uh, from the store, Axminster, and I'll just turn it around so you can see. She said it had some nice figuring in it. So we've just got a nice candle on top, so that's that done. Uh, and then this I've done lately. Now this is a piece of oak and it's a bowl that what I decided to do was uh, colour the base uh, with some spirit stain and then I applied the copper gilt cream that I've got and then it was lacquered uh, so Nicholas says you can pick up the let's see can you get that can you see that the copper gill has gone into the grain and it just makes it pop and shimmer so like I say the bottom's lacquered coloured gilted and lacquered and the top uh, it was just Yorkshire gritted and Hampshire sheened so there's that and then this next thing here this is called sham shampoo if memory serves right shampoo uh, now it felt very similar to the mango when I was turning it so there will be a video coming up of this because I recorded this so usual uh, blind wood turner decorative spirals in the base really really nice uh, enjoyed it very simple turn and if I just move that to one side and if you can hear some noise in the background I've just got a little fan heater going in fact I'm just going to turn it from hot to warm uh, it's getting a bit hot and then there's this uh, potpourri pot that I've done now I made this for Nicola uh, and there's a video coming up of this too so uh, nice simple projects good for beginners and it was obviously hollowed out inside for the potpourri uh, and I did sort of like go under the lip there and it's got the nice mortise for the lid to sit on so that was that so there's some uh, not all of my turnings lately but uh, some of them uh, and what else has been happening? Oh right, yeah, my big workshop vac that I was using as an extractor. That's uh, recently uh, packed in. So what came yesterday? I've got a little workshop vac there. So that came yesterday. And also yesterday came this bench here which is going to be obviously for storage underneath bits and bobs but it's got my belt and disc sander on uh, on there and I have just purchased a extractor uh, 
So I think it's 40 litres, I think, something like that. And it's obviously got the 100 mil pipe. So I've just got to get the, uh, the funnel, the hopper for the end. Uh, and then that will focus the chippings uh, more efficiently. So yeah, I've, I've tried it out this morning. Got quite a lot of power in uh, the dust extractor and it's a, a fine filter one so it will go down to half a micron. Sorry I've got the sniffles, I think everyone's got a cold at the moment. It'll go down to half a micron and uh, take out all the really harmful fine particles as well as the bigger chippings that come straight off the tool and the lathe so there's that and then what I recorded the sticker on is I purchased this the other day well actually a couple of weeks ago and it's my tool chest with a telescopic handle and wheels for demos and uh, yeah just when I'm out and about doing some guest spots so that's absolutely fantastic so there you have it and I've got my UK sticker on there proudly displayed so that's that for one part of talking turning tea so what I'm gonna get now is uh, the tripod and I'll set the camera on and I'll just have a little chat to you about other things that are in the pipeline so I'll be back in a minute okay I'm set up here now just sat down so basically the second part of this talking turning and tea I want to discuss really what's what's coming up now obviously you all know that I've just done the the demo at Axminster and like I've mentioned, uh, they want me back possibly May or June to be confirmed and October. So their dates for anybody that wants to try and attend to look out for on the Axminster Warrington Store Events page. In April, 22nd of April, now all these dates are on my website theblindwoodturner.co.uk 22nd of April I'm one of the guest demonstrators at Turner's Retreat in Doncaster so that's going to be a really enjoyable day now I'll be one of uh, a few wood turners situated around the store it's their open day and they have a couple of years as, as I believe so I'll be there turning and people will be able to walk around the store and visit different turners doing different things so I've been booked for that and that's confirmed so uh, that was David Green the store manager at Turner's Retreat so thank you for that David for booking me also at the start of July I'm a guest demonstrator at a wood turning club in Queensferry near North Wales so uh, that, that should be great just a couple of hours I think so I'm really looking forward to that I've not obviously uh, been to a wood turning club before so it's a new experience for me that being completely self taught and being blind they haven't really had the opportunity or really I didn't really want to go to a wood turning club to, to learn because the process was for me to teach myself and I, I have to go through things differently than everybody else so uh, it's my first trip to a wood turning club so that should be really really interesting and lots of fun and the wood turning symposium in Coventry in July I'm confirmed there as a guest demonstrator and I'm the first one on of the weekend so no pressure there then I know what I'm going to do uh, so I, I, I'm already going through the thought processes and building up mental pictures of how I'm going to approach the event and what I'm going to do massively excited it's going to be a great morning first on so uh, I'm there to warm the crowd up uh, that should be really really interesting and I don't know uh, if it's to be confirmed on social media or whatever but 
at the Wood Turning Symposium have been asked to be a demonstrator on Taylor's Murfield stand too, which I've accepted. So that's great, I've turned a lot of Taylor's Murfield kits now and the guys there are great, they make an amazing product and it's an honour to be asked. So I hope I do everybody really proud and I will give it my all as I, as I do with everything I do. So that's really it in a nutshell. Some things I've been turning, recent purchases, what events I've got coming up. So things are beginning to move on again now. We're making a very, very serious effort about getting more videos up, getting them up regularly and just, you know, starting to get back on track with everything. It's been a massively busy year for many different reasons. But we can crack on now with getting on with the wood turning and enjoying everything that's involved with wood turning the social side the experience of learning a new craft and always progressing the challenges the pitfalls the perils buying the new kit which is always great so it's i, I still stick by that it's one of the best things that i've ever done getting to wood turning and uh, yeah I'll, I'll do it now until I either drop down dead or my head falls off so whatever that's where I'm at so thank you so much for joining me in the workshop today for talking turning and tea hope you all have a great weekend and because it's this is actually Friday when I'm recording this so hopefully this will be uploaded shortly and I look forward to speaking to you all via social media and in person if we get to meet. So bye everybody. Thank you so much. Bye.